Paul Seelan's Poppy in Memory is a profound exploration of trauma, memory, and the complexities of human existence. The collection, which delves into themes deeply rooted in Seelan's experiences of World War II and its aftermath, illustrates the poet's innovative use of language and imagery to grapple with the ineffable. At the heart of Seelan's poetry is a preoccupation with the Holocaust and its impact on individual and collective memory. His work often grapples with the struggle to articulate the inexpressible, reflecting the gaps and absences left by traumatic events. The use of fragmented, often disjointed language in Poppy and Memory reflects this attempt to confront and convey the unspeakable. Seelan's diction is both dense and elusive, challenging readers to engage actively with the text in order to piece together meaning. Seelan frequently employs imagery that juxtaposes the natural and the horrific. In the titular, Poppy in Memory, the poppy flower emerges as a symbol of both beauty and death, encapsulating the duality of existence that Seelan explores. The poppy's associations with sleep and oblivion resonate with the themes of forgetfulness and trauma that pervade the collection. This symbol serves as a metaphor for the poet's attempt to reconcile the past with the present, and to find meaning in a world scarred by loss. The interplay between memory and oblivion is central to Seelan's thematic concerns. His poetry often reflects a tension between the desire to remember and the compulsion to forget. This dynamic is evident in the collection's structure, where fragmented and disjointed verses mirror the fragmented nature of memory itself. Seelan's language, characterized by its elliptical and elusive quality, forces readers to confront the difficulty of fully comprehending and communicating experiences of trauma. Seelan's innovative use of language in Poppy and Memory involves a deliberate obscurity that can be disorienting but also deeply affecting. The poet's choice of words and his manipulation of syntax contribute to a sense of dislocation, reflecting the psychological disorientation caused by trauma. This style creates a powerful emotional resonance, allowing readers to experience the fragmentation and isolation that Seelan himself experienced. The themes of language and silence are also pivotal in Seelan's work. The poet frequently grapples with the limitations of language in conveying profound truths and experiences. The notion of silence is not merely an absence of speech but a profound engagement with the unspeakable aspects of human experience. Seelan's poetry often hovers on the edge of silence, suggesting that some aspects of existence are beyond the reach of language, yet still insistently present. In Poppy and Memory, Seelan's engagement with the Holocaust is particularly poignant. The collection reflects the struggle to come to terms with a history that defies comprehension. Seelan's poetry becomes a site of resistance against forgetting, an attempt to preserve the memory of those who suffered and perished. His work is imbued with a sense of urgency, as he seeks to ensure that the horrors of the past are not erased or trivialized. The collection's emphasis on the personal and the collective dimensions of memory underscores the broader impact of trauma on both individuals and societies. Seelan's reflections on memory are not limited to his own experiences but extend to a shared human condition, highlighting the universal nature of suffering and the quest for meaning in its aftermath. Seelan's Poppy and Memory is a testament to the power of poetry to confront and illuminate the darkest aspects of human experience. Through its complex language, rich imagery, and deep thematic concerns, the collection offers a profound meditation on memory, trauma, and the limits of expression. Seelan's work challenges readers to engage with the complexities of history and personal experience, and to confront the ways in which language can both illuminate and obscure the truths of existence.